All right, for the next event, we are gonna be using a laundry basket. Any laundry basket will do. A empty water bottle and a tennis ball, or you can use a sock ball if you don't have a tennis ball or any kind of small ball will work. So this is called the water bottle trap. Now this one, the scoring is a little bit tricky. Now how you're gonna set it up is you're gonna place the laundry basket on top of the water bottle like that. You're gonna be rolling from about eight to 10 feet away with the sock ball or the tennis ball. You're gonna be trying to knock out the water bottle into the laundry basket and trap the water bottle and the tennis ball in the laundry basket. Here's how the scoring works. If you hit the water bottle first, you can score. If you hit the laundry basket, if you miss the water bottle and hit the laundry basket, no scores. If you trap the tennis ball and the water bottle in the basket, three points. If you trap only the water bottle, two points. If you trap only the tennis ball, one point. You're gonna see how many points you can score in one minute. So one more time, scoring. If you trap both the tennis ball and the water bottle, three points. If you trap only the water bottle, two points. If you trap only the tennis ball, one point. All right, let's get it set up, and here we go. All right, put my 60 second timer on the clock, see how many points I can get, here we go. All right. So I scored uh, six points on that one. Um, and parents, you might want to assist the students with the reset of the laundry basket on the water bottle because that was a little tough. Um, but see what you can do and hope you have fun with the water bottle trap game. <laughs>